What should I have with it? There's a half a cabbage. Where, oh, where's the cabbage? Oh, it's it's we have a motorbike accident of patient. GCS is three, and we have cannulated. Stop crossing cross. Deep plan. Where's the cabbage? Where's the, where's the cabbage? This is terrible. Deep plan. I, 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 I love it. Cab, 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 cabbage. Nine, this is twelve. Terrible. Fourteen inch. This is terrible. This is terrible. This is terrible. I love it. Truck pulled out in front of him. Everything's broken. Shannon. Sorry, Clive. I'm off duty. OK. Call x-ray. Get the anaesthetist. We're going to go straight in. Hey, any chance of any help around here? Don't we need some fluids. fluids. Yeah, what are you going out for dinner? Yeah, it was just a phase. By the way, happy birthday. Cheers. Hello? All clear. Over. Got that, Danny. Thank you. Copy that. Roger. Over. Roger. I believe it. They've got the old type infrared system. No temperature monitor, no movement sensor. <laughs> this stuff's out of the ark. Yes, that's why we're here. Child's play. Yeah, well, this shouldn't be any problem for you then, should it? Go on, anchovies. Go on, go on, go on, anchovies. Oh, I'm so sorry I'm late. Take away, you want some? No, we're going out. Are we? Oh, Ray, it's my birthday. Oh, shit, I forgot. I'm sorry, I remembered earlier and I forgot again. Well, OK, just get your coat and let's go out now, then. Yeah, I'm not really hungry right now. Yeah, well, let's just have a drink. No, we're not, baby. I've just, I really got to work on this for a minute. I'm right in the middle of it. Pizza, pizza. Oh, I love you too. All right. Yeah, right, of course, sorry. Of course, what could be more important than your urban noise symphony installation? Oh, here we go. 
This is my work here. Hello? This is my life. Precisely. You don't understand any of this. You just, you don't get it. What? No, you know what? I'll tell you what I do get. I get that you'd rather stay in here all by yourself, eavesdropping on other people's lives than actually having one with me! Right? Can't either. Yeah. I've got to. I've got to. And I wonder why that is. Look, this is terrible. It's only gonna be two days. Yeah. Love you. Oh, I love you too. Shut up! You know nothing of despair. My despair fell on me like a shroud, and I struggled to shake it off. But in vain. But green eyes, let me share your misfortune and turn it into our heaven. You bastard! Oh. Now I really am all alone. <laughs> Well, it was your last night. Oh, God. I caught the last bit of the show. I thought the end was really... Please don't. OK. Well, it was a rainy night. Yeah. I insulted his equipment, so he went off in a half. He ditched you on your birthday? Yeah. Well, I'm taking you out. Oh, no, it's all right. We don't have Are you to. kidding me? It's your birthday. OK. I'm not drinking, though. OK. You're not going to get me drunk? Again. No pressure, they're for me. Just a birthday period for my friend. Oh, for God's sakes. It's my birthday! I'm on a toy! All right, sweetheart. Back on. One of them's got her shoe stuck. And the other one, sort of, uh, she's helping her to pull it out. I think they're drunk. Over. Fascinating. What colour's her dress? Stay still. Oh, of course oh, just it well, it's more like um, a, a skirt and uh, a, a, a little top. It's all right. She's got it out. Over. It's all clear. Over. Listen, if it's important, call in. Otherwise, shut up. Copy that. Roger and out. Why is that retard on the job anyway? Call me sentimental, but ever since his uncle got shot, I've sort of felt responsible. You were responsible, Governor. Obviously, I don't... I, I don't know the full circumstances. I mean... So let's have a little heart-to-heart -heart about it, shall we? Over a nice bottle of claret? Or should we get on with our job? You're my best friend, Sharon. Shannon. Shannon. You know, I care about you. Listen to me. You deserve to be happy. Thank you. You do. You know? I just think that you should... What was I talking about? Ray. 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 You gotta dump him. I know. You do. I know. Seriously, there's I know. tons of guys out there. Gorgeous guys right. who are also nice. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where they are, but. I know they're like the abdominable snowman, aren't they? People say they exist, but I've actually seen one. Well. Maybe I'm doomed to end up like one of those old ladies sitting on park benches with their legs open so you can see their knickers. Kelly, pick up the phone. Pick up the phone, babe. Jesus. You're always doing this. What's going on? You said you'd be there. Where are ya? Hello? What exactly does he do with all this stuff? What? A 
Apparently they're not recordings, they are found digital sound sculptures. Loser. So who have you been out with? My friends, who do you think? Jealous boyfriends. So who was there, was that Mickey there, was he? What? You know Mickey, that git, who works in a club, was it uh, the, the mixer? Mickey was there. <sighs> Why shouldn't I go with my friends, Danny? You're never here. If you're screwing around, Kel, you're gonna pay for it. Wanker! I, I, I mean it. So what you been doing then? Robbing What's that? Phone box? That's his phone number, I think. Mm -hmm. right. Well, we're calling him. No. Yes, we are. No, Jack, because you're it. We're going to tell him what an asshole he is. Just shoot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you know why? I'm with the big boys now. You know who I'm working with? Mason. Yeah, right. This is the big one, Kel. Security deposit. After this, I won't need to do no more. I'll be out of it. That's what you said before, Danny. You got two years. Please, please. Coming up Bohemia Road. Turn him into Church Street. You're in my street. I know, I know. Ah. He's in Mandel Street, coming our way. Oh no, he's turning left into our street. He's coming to Wall, yeah. He's coming to Walter Bank. Gone. It's all clear. Over and out. They're robbing a bank, my God. They're robbing a bank. We don't know that for sure. Yes, we do. We heard what they said. We saw the police car. It all fits. What fit? All of it. It all fits. Now, where are you going? Going to the police. We'll catch them in the act and we'll get their reward. Francis, you are absolutely pissed. I'm totally focused. Where is my jacket? You're wearing it. Oh, wait! Hold on. Can I have a drum roll, please, ladies and gentlemen? It may look easy. And it is. Just kids messing about. Well, no, no, it just sound like a bank robbery. Not you again, Charlie. What's this? I don't know. I've never seen What's him the before. With this? I tell no, God, damn it. you are drunk and you're an American. You're really going to piss him off, all right? Stop it. As soon as we got a spare car, I'll send someone down. Fine. Okay, fine. Okay, okay, let's go. Come I demand on. you no. send your constables to investigate. Look, I've got muggings, street fights, the whole work's going on tonight, and I'm not going to waste police resources oh, on some half overheard on. phone conversation. Come on, stop it, you idiot. Take a lot of drugs, do you? Someone planted them on me. Okay, Top Gun, we're moving out. Copy that. I'm going to the van now. Over and out. Yeah, tricky.
you on that for a Monday morning. Well, we'll be giving you the answer later on, but the time is coming up to... It's eight o'clock. Yeah, Francis, now try it with a foreign accent. All right. Captain, only ten seconds before the pumpkin explodes. <sighs> yeah, it's a bit racist. Um, I'll tell you what, give it bags of energy. Captain, only ten seconds before the pumpkin explodes! That's great, hang on to that. Now, just do it totally laid back. Captain, only 10 seconds before the pumpkin explodes. Great. Hold on to that, too. Uh, put them two together. Put them together, you know. Bags of energy. Throw the ball away. I'm... You know what? I guess I just don't understand what an alien tomato sounds like, really. Sweetheart, we're all in the dark here, you know. I've got... I'm, I'm on a journey here, too, darling, you know. Uh-huh. Plasma cutter? Security override system, hollow core, titanium tipped drill. Not exactly under equipped. I suppose it's too much to expect that anybody heard anything. Mm, it's unlikely. Not really a residential area. Oh, some nice loft conversions there. Good place to buy, actually. A couple of years, prices will go through the roof. You know, if you applied the same meticulous research to burglary investigation, we might stand a chance of solving this. Tremaine! Looks like it's all gone tits up. You realize we were asked to make a security assessment of these premises last month, and we passed them okay. I know, Chief. But who'd have thought they'd do a mission impossible on it? <laughs> We'd have thought that, McGill. It's our job to think that. Who else is going to think that if we don't? It's a bloody embarrassment. Shannon, it's me. Back. What's going on? Packed up all your stuff. Why? Because you're leaving. It's over. Since when? Probably about two years ago. You're just... You're just angry about last night. You'll you calm down by tomorrow. No. Tell you what, I'll ring you up so you can record me. I'll say, Ray, it's finished. And then you can play it back over and over again until you get it. You are so narrow-minded. Do you know that? You are afraid of what you don't understand. Yeah, Ray, Ray, it's very unhealthy to have your head so far up your ass. I'm a nurse. I know these things. Right. OK. Fine. Ow! How's things, Francis? Things are not good, Paul. They're not good. What happened to you? Oh, I was doing a pantomime. Snow White tripped over a dwarf. Don't you sometimes feel like we're just worthless maggots simply killing time as we crawl toward inevitable death? Well, that's showbiz. And there'll be more on that soon.
story later. Now we go over to Jamie Spencer, who's actually in Hatton Garden at the scene of the Gold Max security robbery. The police are today hunting a gang who carried out a daring raid on a bank here in Beckworth Street last night. The money was stolen from Goldmax Securities here in central London. The robbers tunneled from the cellar of the neighbouring building directly into the bank's underground vaults. The police say the whole operation must have taken most of the weekend. Because the robbers targeted safe deposit boxes, it's far from easy to establish exactly how much money has been stolen. But I understand it could be at least ten million pounds. <laughs> oh my God! Sorry, Mr. Winters. Sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. <sighs> See you later, Paul. Look at that. What is it? Danny's number. So? Don't you realize what's happened? Can she hear anything? No, she's unconscious. Good. The cops have no clues, and I have the number of one of the bank robbers on my hand. Good job your standards of hygiene are so low. Yeah, see? Everything for a reason. Why don't you go to the police? Forget the police. We tried that. They blew it. I've got a better idea. We... Now, what are you talking about? Right. Get this. We call the robbers. Why hmm? would we call the robbers? We call the robbers, we tell them we want some money, and if we don't get it, we're going to the cops. What do you think? I think you're mad. Ah, but is it madness or is it genius? Put it this way. We have a special place here for people like you. Jenny, come on. It's called the Laburnum Ward. It's a great idea. One was a brunette, the other was a blonde. Dyed blonde or natural? How would I know? Yes, good point. Anything else? The blonde one was uh, pretty. The other one was quite attractive, too. So, was the pretty one more attractive than the attractive one, or was it the other way around? Look, there was a full scale riot in here last night. Yelling, screaming, vomit up the walls. I mean, what do you expect? All right, all right. Nothing else. The brunette was wearing a big watch on her right wrist. Like a diver's watch. That's about it. Interesting. Well, it's not much. Just a few crumbs, but we're grateful just the same. Oh, no. Francis, what are you doing here? I told you I'm not getting involved. Come on. No. Why? I start stealing money. I'm not a criminal. Obviously, you're not a criminal. The money was in safety deposit boxes, which means it was probably stolen in the first place. We'd just be recycling it, giving it a better home. It's not a puppy. Come on, Shannon, will you look at us? I am single and unemployed, and I can't get a call back as an alien tomato. You spent every day up to your neck in blood and vomit for virtually nothing, and you wasted the best years of your life on a useless guy. Face it, you wake up tomorrow, you're 50 fat alone and broke. Thanks. It doesn't have to be that way. You know, it just involves taking some chances. H how good would some new clothes feel? Or you could take a trip and I could get a new car. All right, listen, seriously. All material desires aside, we should, we should be looking at this thing like it's an adventure, you know? I mean, anything to get us out of this rut. My clothes are fine. I know what you're doing, and it's not gonna happen. You could buy something for the hospital. Heart machine or incubator thing, you know, the valves and the tubey stuff. For all the premature babies. Oh, for the babies. Yeah. A minute ago, you were talking about getting a new car. All I'm saying is hospitals never have enough money, right? Yep. So, so theoretically, this place just gets an extra hundred grand. How many lives does that save? You're absolutely right, my dear. You tell them. There, you see? Thanks. So you do all that with the money? Yes. Really? Some of it. Most of it. It's my lousy little phone call. All right, what exactly would you say? Well, I don't know. Something, you know, something like, give us your money or you're in big trouble. What? It's pathetic. I won't believe you for a second. Yeah, all right. Everyone wants to direct. What else? Well, you're going to have to sound really hard and mean. Yeah. And you're going to have to sound English. Oh, will you do it then? I can't act. You're the actress. Where's your self-esteem? What do you mean my self-esteem? I'm an actress. Now listen, pal. We know you've done that bank job. Is it bank job or is it heist? Um, uh... Blag. No, I think they say blag. We know you've done that bank blag. No, it just doesn't sound right. It doesn't. Listen to me, 
Danny, you slag. What? That's what they say, you slag. I did this drama workshop in Wandsworth Prison once, they said it all the time. All right. We know you've done that bang job, and if you don't want us to go to the police, it's gonna cost ya. What? Well, what's it gonna cost them? Oh, um, a defibrillator's 50 grand, but I mean, they're not gonna pay us that, are they? They've got 10 million. That's true. Plus, we need the Mercedes, a couple of plane tickets, yeah. new luggage for vacation. Oh, yeah. I need some Jimmy Choo's. There's an adorable yes. Cardi watch I've had my eye on. And Francis, you... stop. Okay, all right, so all that's what? 100 grand? How much is that? 150. Round it up to 200. All right. Round it up to 250. Yeah, you can't keep rounding it up. Okay, okay, okay. Now, listen. You're in big trouble, pal. We want 300 grand. Pay up or... What? What, what? Pay up or I don't get my Mercedes? Pay up or we'll cry. No, no. Pay up or you're dead. It's a bit of a cliche. That's a classic. Well, there's no extra points for originality. I mean, what? Pay up or I'll load a dozen rattlesnakes in a cannon and fire them in your ass? Just... Yeah, let's stick with dares. Absolutely. Remember, you've got to be forceful but restrained. You hear me, you fuck. You fucking piece of shit. Pay up or you'll be fucking dead. All right, go easy on the fucks, because it sounds like you've got Tourette's. Well, how many fucks then? Well, I don't know, two... Maybe three tops, but I mean, only if it gets heavy. You hear me, you motherfucker? Motherfucker's too American. You fucker. That's better. Little fucker. Better. Cocksucker? It's too many Ks. Mm. And in a strange sort of way, it sounds a bit too friendly. Do you know mm, what I mean? I do. Remember, you've got to be forceful, but dignified. Don't stoop to their level. Forceful and dignified. Right. That's forceful it. and dignified. Come forceful, on, come dignified. Come on, forceful. Come on, it stinks of pee in here. Can you get a move on? Yeah, all right. Danny, you listen to me, you asshole. We know you've done that job. What? I don't know his last name. Oh, OK. Sorry to bother you. Great start. What is that a tour for? <sighs> oh, wait, 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 wait. I just thought of something. What? You're a woman. Guys like that won't take orders from women. They just pulled off a multi-million pound bank robbery. And some woman rings them up asking for 300,000 pounds. I don't think they're going to take you seriously. It's the 21st century. Women are doing every kind of job. We can do extortion. What are you trying to do? Raise their consciousness or get the money? Ideally both. I mean... No, no, I'm serious. I really think it needs to be a bloke. Yeah? Is that Danny? Yeah, it is. We know you've done that job, Danny. What? The gold bank securities job. We know it was you. Who is this? Never mind who this is. Just listen very carefully. We want 300 grand and we'll go to the police. You must be joking. No joke, Danny. You slag. How did you get this number? I looked up in the book. Under D for dickhead. Whoever you are, yeah. you are dead mates. We'll see who's dead meat, pal. You make the drop tomorrow night. You'll be hearing from me, you little tosser. I'll kill you. Yeah, right. 300 big ones of Russell. Cops will be down on you like a ton of... Bricks. Cops. Bricks. Up yours. Oh, yeah, we do. Huh. Girlfriend. Yeah. Pain in the ass. Any luck? No. I've had six people around now, not a single offer. But maybe I should put a new kitchen in. I wasn't talking about your bastard flat. Oh. Oh, um, forensic haven't found any prints. No traces of anything. The cutting equipment was imported from Belgium on false papers, so that's another dead end. Yes, well, that depends how you look at it, doesn't it? So try thinking laterally. One dead end could turn into an open highway. On the other hand, we could actually try following up a clue. The divers watch, what do you think? What about sub-aqua clubs? It's an unclutched straw. Might as well get out there and clutch it. All right, where 
do we get them to leave the money? Drop the money. Drop. They always say drop. Drop. I don't know. Mm. What about that big hydrangea bush? Bank robber is not going to know what a hydrangea bush is. Oh, in the john. Yeah, but I, they lock them at night. I've got it. We haven't buried it in the sand pit. No sand. Got stolen. They stole the sand? Mm. That's just sick. I know. Trouble, mate. You be there, dipstick, or you'll be sorry. You do realise we've got to take this bastard out, like, like now. Down. I need to speak to Major Mason. I've already spoke to Mason. He said he doesn't want a discussion about it. He wants a nice, clean hit. Finished. All right, all right. If that's what he wants, we'll do it. Yeah. Bum's gone to sleep. Oh, he's late. <sighs> Will you keep still? I'm dying for a pee. You have to wait. I can't. You should have gone before we came out. I just like dealing with a child. God, I am bursting. Go in your knickers then. I can't do it. I'm too well trained. He's not coming, is he? I haven't wet myself since I was five. In school, we were learning about Niagara Falls. Shh. to blow like that not look in the bin oh great well now you're gonna have to fight him for it oh, yeah, there's someone else haven't these people got homes to go to but he's unresponsive. Possible fracture skull. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
they shot that guy? You believe they shot that guy? Yes, I bloody can believe oh they God. shot that guy, Francis. That criminal. Yeah, but that could have been us. That could have been us. They're lying on the ground. They're bleeding to death. It isn't. We were lucky. That poor man wasn't thanks to you. What? What? Thanks to me? What? How'd this suddenly become my fault? Because he's probably dying. Yeah, well, I didn't know anyone was going to get hurt. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. That's right, because in your world, they don't, do they? It's all pretend. People get shot and they get blown up and then they get up and walk away in the credits roll. This is real life, Francis. People get hurt and they bleed and they really do die. Really? Well, teach me more, Florence Nightingale. I didn't know that. Are you kidding me? You think you're more in touch with real suffering because, because what? Because you empty bedpans and some people vomit all over you? Come on! And you know what? If you didn't hang out with me, your life would be even more sad and pathetic than it already is. What? Yeah. You think I'm jealous of your showbiz shit? Yes, I do. Well, fuck you! Fuck you too! Oh, you know something else? Why you never get any decent jobs? Cause you can't act! So what did you think you were doing, Danny? Mr. Sit Mason. Mr. Mason, I know I screwed up. I, I was just trying to sort it out. No, oh, I see. Someone tries to blackmail us and you sort it out by going and shooting someone completely different. Nice bit of lateral thinking, you stupid bastard. I didn't know what to do. I thought you might be pissed off. Oh, no, you'd be right there. But now I'm way off the scale of pissed off. There are no words for what I am now. Understandably, Major Mason. And what about you, Barry? I was badly misled vis-a-vis -vis your authorization. So, how did this bloke get your number? I don't know. I swear to you, I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't believe this is happening. Get him out of here before I kill him. Give me that phone! Keep out of trouble, or I swear I will shoot you myself. Copy that, Roger, and out. One thing's for sure, Kerrigan won't be happy about this. Well, thanks for pointing out the bleeding obvious. Oh, nice area. What kind of place you'd expect a street shooting? Okay, keep back, please. Uh, excuse me, sir. There's a gentleman back here who thinks he might have seen I a few live things. I number like... 43. Now, I saw everything. Apparently, two girls were at the scene. One blonde, one brunette. Quite attractive. I'd say it was a drive-by. Could be related to drugs. Yes, I wouldn't advertise that if I were you. Property prices round here could go into free fall. Thank you. Sir? Fake bundles of money. So, we've got a drop-off, a double-cross, an ambush, and then what? Then they shot a tramp. Could be connected to the gold max job. Blonde, brunette, bit of a coincidence. Maybe. Who are these women? All right, give me a little Excuse me, could we have a word? I'm Detective Inspector Tremaine. This is DC McGill. Hi. Hello. What do you want? That young man in there. Has he said anything? Like what? Oh, no talking in his sleep, mumbled names. No. No, um, he's um, he's alive. he's unconscious. What if he regains his faculties? Perhaps you could let us know. Of course. Yes, uh, that's my extension. Uh, I'll be getting a direct line soon. Yes. Well, thanks for your help. So, if he talks, any little thing. Yes, well, we better let you go. Never know. Could be important. Hey. Do you have to make it so obvious that you fancy her?
You okay? Yeah, I live just about. Thank God. What's that? That's a present for you. Sex is horrible. I know. I thought you were gonna throw it at me, so I didn't make much of an effort. I'm sorry about what I said. Yeah, me too. I didn't mean it. You were right all along. We should have never been involved. I don't need a Mercedes. No. I mean, no more phone calls, no more shootings. Let's pretend none of this ever happened, you know? We'll go out and we'll get wrecked and everything will be like it was. No. No, because it can't be, can it? I mean, we're involved now, aren't we? Nothing's like it was. Who's this? Where's Danny? Danny's not available. You talk to me now. Oh, yeah? Well, you double-crossed us, pal. We had a deal. You're in big trouble. I don't think so. Here's a new deal. You don't call again, and I don't come round and kill you, all right? Oh, yeah? Yeah? Well, you listen to me, you prat. You big prat. The price has gone up. We want half a mil. Well, you can get stuffed. You will make that a million. You want to raise the stakes again, you ugly piece of shit. Listen to me. Whoever you are, I'm going to find you and I'm going to hurt you a lot. Save the big scary gangster talk twat. Just get that money ready or else. Are you threatening me? Who? A million quid. Are you mad? I know. I'm sorry. It just came out. What, what did he say? He's not happy. He's definitely not happy. Mr. Kerrigan is expecting you. The more I see you, the more I want you. Somehow this feeling just grows and grows. Why do I always have to find out things for myself? It wasn't worth bothering you with, Kerrigan. I like you, Alan. That's why I put you in charge. But some joker knows about our operation, tries to hit me for a million quid. Looks like there's been a balls up. Talk to me. Danny was probably mouthing off somewhere. This guy overheard him. It's just a chance, so I wouldn't worry about it. I am worried. I don't need this aggravation. It's giving me jit. Look at the state of me. I'm all tense. I'm aging prematurely. Oh, rubbish, boss. Who is this toe rag? No one we know. He's got a weird accent. He sounds a bit like a... Well, I don't know what he sounds like. You don't know who you're dealing with these days. Mm. You've got Turks, Russians, Kosovites. Mm. All muscly men. Yeah. I mean, who runs Cricketwood now, Jules? The Armenians. There you go. The Armenians. I mean, where the bleeding hell do they come from? Armenia, boss. Oh, good boy, yeah. At least someone knows what's going on. Look, I told you. I'll sort him out. Don't worry. Do not keep telling me not to worry. Who are these cowboys? Don't they know who the fuck they're dealing with? Give me a towel. I'll find them. I'll bring Listen, them in. I'm bored with this subject. I do not wish to debate about it. I want their testicles in a jar. Got that? Got it. Piss off. Well, that's it. Danny's phone's been cut off. Guess we're screwed. Probably should have done some more research. I mean, there must be a blackmailing website or something. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's just think about what we have, okay? We've got three names. Danny, Kelly, and Mason. When we heard that first call, Right. Danny mentioned another name. When Kelly said she'd been out and he asked who right, where. Right, right, He said somebody else was there. Right. Mickey! Mickey, that's it. And he worked in a club. 
Right, the... What's the club? The, 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 the what? The the the, 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 the... the something. Yeah, the something. All right. But I mean, it was like, um... It was something you have in your kitchen, right? Like, uh, the sink. Sink, the fridge club, the, the, the bread juicer, bin, the, the blender, that dial, that was that? The, 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 the mix-up! That's it! The mix-up! That's it! That's exactly oh. it! Okay, when we go in the mix-up club, we're gonna do the good cop, bad cop thing. Which one am I? You're the good cop. Can't I be the bad cop? No, you're too nice to be the bad cop. Aww. McGill, this is Detective Wachowski. Would you like to have a little chat? Look, I don't know with any of them, right? Why do I believe you, scumbag? Why are you protecting that low life? Want me to take you down the station and beat it out of you? Look, I've told them both of you. I don't know where he is and I don't care where he is. Look. Listen! I know we look like girlies. We can hurt you, Mickey. You ever had a stiletto through the bollocks? Oh, oh, oh. Can I... Just a quick word. Don't move! What are you doing? You're supposed to be the good cop. I like being the bad cop. There can't be two bad cops. It doesn't work like that. No, I know what I'm doing. I've got him on the run. Oh, Christ. Phil's trip speed. Hang on, sir, thanks. How about Shaq? How about a punch in the mouth? Oh, you've really pissed me off now, Mickey. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna call in the rest of the squad. They're gonna come down here, bust this place apart, and find half a kilo of smack up your ass. And... There's a new guy who's going to get a real kick out of planting it there. How about that? Sounds good to me. Yeah, you can't be that. Wait, 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 look, look, look. I might have an address. So he's a scumbag low-life criminal and he lives in the East End. Hmm. Is that compulsory? He have done a burglary before. No, but what if he comes back while we're in there? Can't be that difficult. We jump on him and beat him senseless. Yeah, well, as long as I know. Okay, I think we're on. Hello? Yeah, it's Martin. Oh, hi. Hi there. Hi. How are you doing? Shit. It's my library card, two credit cards, my cash point, and my video club membership. Get it. Always worked on Charlie's Angels. Christ. You carry that thing around with you all the time? <laughs> Papers, diaries, money, anything to do with Mason. Right, right, right. Who are you? The money's right. I can be whoever you want me to be. Who are you?
Where's Danny? Said he'd be right back. Hope he realizes I charge for waiting time. What happened to the door? Shithead lost his keys. Did he? So who are you then? The man in charge? Mr. Big? I think you better go now. Go where? He hasn't paid me yet. You guys crack me up. What do you think I do this for? Fun? Okay. Let's say he pays you a hundred quid to knob him. I'll pay you 50 quid to knob off. See ya. Got the pile of bags. I'm gonna go then. See ya. Bye. Venga, señoras, animen a Miguel, animen a Miguel esta noche. friend. Guess what? Now he wants a million quid. Jesus. And the bastard of it is. Now I've got the old puff on me back. That's a bloody uncomfortable feeling. So, what do I do with you, Danny? I'll help you find him. I can do it. I'll, I'll make it my main thing, you know? Remind me of your uncle. He was crap and all. Mr. Mason, please don't hurt me. I, 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 I can do it. I can do it. I won't rest. And I won't sleep until I nail him. You do that. You get out and you ask around. You see what you can find out. I will, absolutely. You can rely on me, thanks. On the other end, forget it. <coughs> He's been shot, severe chest wound, internal hemorrhaging. He's got a pulse, but it's thready. Look, I've done everything I can, just get here. Danny Robinson. Convictions for theft, burglary, accessory to robbery. Place was ransacked. He was found shot in the chest. Very sad, what's he got to do with us? Two women were seen entering the flat. Don't tell me, one blonde, one dark. Yes, quite attractive. There's that word again. Now we're getting somewhere. I don't know who these two are, but they're really beginning to annoy me. Can we just ask him some questions? Well, no, I mean, he's in a coma. He can't talk. Has Danny had any visitors? Like two women, a blonde and a brunette? No, 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 definitely not. Right. Thanks very much. Well, do let us know if he gets any visitors, won't you? And, uh, you can give me a call any time. Oh, I thought... You've already given her a car. Well, she might have lost it. Oh my God, aren't there any other hospitals in this city? We're the specialist unit. We get all the gunshots. All right, look. I found Mason's number in here, okay, and a lot of other names. Let's turn this over to the cops. They'll find these guys in five minutes. Look, forget the police, okay? We're gonna get these bastards ourselves. And I'll tell you something, we better do it soon or they're gonna get us.
Yeah. Hello, Mason. How did you get this number? I looked you up in the phone book, under M. For moron. Now listen to me. We want a million quid, or we'll go to the filth, and you'll go down. Do what you want, you're getting nothing. Huh. So you like having the old puff on your back, do you? What do you know about Kerrigan? We know a lot about Kerrigan. We know where to find him, we know what he has for breakfast, and we know how many pieces of paper he uses to wipe his big, fat, kyber pass. I want a meeting. A meeting? No meeting. If there's no meeting, then there's no deal. Oi! You get one more chance, sunshine, then we go to the cops. It's not working, is it? We threaten him, he tells us to piss off. He wants a meeting, we tell him to piss off. We've gone for months. We've got to up the stakes. We don't have any stakes to up, do we? Do we? Whereabouts is it? David, take me to Parliament Square. Embarrassing, but it's obviously a bluff. A bluff! They got my name on a 40 foot poster in the middle of town! My bloody name! It's an outrage! I'll put the bloody thing down with you! They'll be dead by tomorrow. You've said that before. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there's still very much a fucking life! Look, it's not just your head on the block here, Kerrigan, it's all of us. Exactly, there's Danny. He's probably blabbing at the cops right now. He won't talk. He shouldn't be in a position to talk if you've done your job properly. You should be at the bottom of the river. You be careful, Kerrigan. If it wasn't for me, the wheels would have come off this entire operation years ago. Nobody is unexpendable, Mason. Don't you threaten me, old man. Because right now, I'm all you've got. So shut up and listen. This is what we do. When they get in touch, we agree to pay up. A million quid? Have you gone completely tonto? Don't be stupid. We're not going to pay them. We arrange the drop, we flush them out of the opening, we kill them. All right. All right. Do it. Mason. One more cock up and we say goodbye.
here. I'm getting on the train now. Good, just, just be careful. Okay, good luck. Mason. Yeah. Listen carefully. Get a ticket for the next train. 47 minutes past. And it will be from up the platform 12. You're cutting out. 47 minutes go in the Is that better? What? Ah, oh, damn cell phones. Hello, hello, hello. Robinson. Hello. Mason. Can you hear me now? Just tell me which train. The train to Brighton. Leaves at 47 minutes past, getting the third carriage from the front. Where do we meet? I'll call you when you're on the train. No, we're... Don't miss it! Train. Past Gatwick Airport. Have we passed Gatwick Airport? Gatwick? Yeah. yeah. Yes, we have. Past. Yeah. The next station's Free Bridges. The train goes over a big viaduct. You should pass over it, throw the case at the window on the left hand side of the train. What? You make sure it goes right over the edge of the viaduct. Now hold on a minute. I haven't come all this way to start chucking money all over the place. Now what you're gonna you have. You got that? Yeah, just wait a minute. Just do it. Hello? Hi. How are you? I say, what the bloody hell do you think you're doing? This is private land. Oh, because, you know, I didn't see a sign. I don't need a sign. You're not supposed to be here. I was just admiring your cows. They're really, um... Are they Frisians? It doesn't matter what they are. Will you just bugger off? Right. You know what? I will bugger off happily in just a few seconds. You misunderstand me. When I say bugger off, I mean bugger off! Come on. I've already asked you quite politely. Oh, get don't... off my land. I want you to get off my land now! Oh, God, give me a break. Give me, like, five minutes. If you don't go now, I'm telling you... Give me what? 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 You'll shoot me, you'll cut off my legs, because I've been there before, pal. That's it. I'm calling the police. Try that! Don't work! Right. Throw it out. Throw it out? Yeah, make sure it goes right over the side. Over the side? What are you, a bloody parrot? Just do it! Come over here, something all over my land. I've been on to my man down in the Nick. He says the police are looking for two women. What? There's a blonde one and a dark one. That prosy you saw in Danny's flat, she was one of them. He was probably shooting his mouth off to her one night. 
started the whole thing off. What about the guy who keeps phoning? My bet is he's their pimp trying his luck. They're amateurs. I knew it. Oh, and the dark one wears a big watch on her right wrist. Sort of diver's watch, a lot of fancy dials on it. Anything else? Just I don't want to be double-crossed by a pair of bloody tarts. It's bad for my image. It's all under control. You know what you've got to do. Just act normally or you're dead. I haven't got one, it was a cue. It's a criminal offence to travel without a ticket. Shannon! But on this occasion, I'll turn a blind eye. Shannon! Get it in! Just drive! Oh my God! There was a bomb in the case. A bomb! Yeah, a bomb! Wankers! The nasty, mean, horrible, violent wankers! We've been going about this all wrong. They're trying to kill us. Why are we trying to kill them? It's Kerrigan. Remember I said one more cock up and we say goodbye. Call me. Mason. There. Where's the money, Mason? Kiss my ass. Just tell us where it is and we'll let you go. All right, I'll tell you. It's in the safe. Did you find the safe? No. Well, what have you been doing? What do you mean, what have I been doing? What do you want me to do? Tear the place apart? You bunch of amateurs. Oh, yeah? Well, for the amateurs, how come you're the one who's tied up? It's Kerrigan. What is going on, Alan? Pick up the phone. I hope you're not thinking they're going away, Alan. He sounds a bit upset. Yeah, maybe we should call him back. To call him. He comes round, you're dead. Suits me. Admit it. You're out of your depth. So what now? I could shoot you. I'd be sure to hit something at this range, wouldn't I? You haven't got the guts. All right, where's the top man? I want to talk to him. You'll find him under B. For behind you. So it really is just the two of you, then, is it? <laughs> You've made my day. Safety catches on. Dear, oh dear, it's not going very well, is it? Look, you think this is funny? <laughs> Insulin. Five milligrams in your groggy, 
10 milligrams and you're dead. You can't be serious. Oh, and he's getting more than that. Whoa, 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 are you crazy? What is your problem? This has gone far enough, come on. All he has to do is tell us where the safe is, but he won't do it, so what are we gonna do, just let him walk out of here? Shannon, it's oh. not worth this. Now you've used my real name. Now I am gonna have to kill him. What is happening? What's happened to you? It's just money, my God. It doesn't matter. Every day, I see people beaten, shot, and killed for money. I watch people die because there isn't the money to save them. Money means life or death. So it does matter. It matters a lot. I don't want any part of this. Hey! What? This was your bloody idea! Well, you're leaving now because it's a bit too scary for you. You're too scary for me, you! Look at yourself, you're totally out of control! I'm leaving. You're not going anywhere. For what? What, are you gonna shoot me? You can't shoot him. Grow up. I will shoot you, Francis. Fuck off. What? Oh. Right, where were we? Keep away from me, you mad bitch! No, oh, it's all right, Mason, it's all right. It's a painless death. Are you worried that you're going to go to hell? You should be. All right, all right, I'll tell you. You know something? I don't trust you. Isn't that weird? No! Oh, God! Right, now that's five milligrams. Enough to make you feel a bit spacey. You want the rest? The cabinet, behind the cabinet. Are you sure? Yes! Yes! I think that's enough. You won't have to stay here for long. I'll call the police and tell them the combination. I'll find you one day, and you'll wish you'd been strangled at birth. Oh, don't be so childish. Oh, let me get that out for you. You in a spot of trouble, Governor? So how do you feel now? Not so brave, eh? Not so bloody clever. You think you can take things from me? Mr. Kerrigan, Governor. It's a bad line. Kerrigan. Yeah, we've got all the money. Sorry, what? What, now? Okay, okay. You're lucky to be alive for the moment. Get the bags, we're leaving. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Kerrigan. He said bring her over. Yeah. How did he know there's only one of them? What are you talking about? When you came in, you didn't notice anything, did you? Like a dead body or something? What do you mean? of danger of hitting you. These people are gonna be so sorry. It was an excellent death pack there, though. Not bad for somebody who can act. <laughs> oh, you should have heard my Kerrigan impression. Right, I want her alive. Bring her over to me. You should have said bring them over, yeah, I though. I know, I know, I know, I You missed the house. I haven't got my eye in yet. Who's out 
there. Shooting at me with their own sodden guns. What's up? I don't know. I feel sort of... We gotta get out of here. No, there's another bag over there. No, we're gonna leave the other bag. No, there's enough money in that bag for a new casualty oh, unit. You're so... All right, we'll get the bag. Where's the bag? It's out there. Get it. You go and get it. I'll cover you. Cover me. I've seen your shooting. No, no, it's all right. I'll use this one. Just for that. This is another dead end or an open highway. It's a roundabout, McGill. Turn left. Christ on a bike. What's happened here? I don't know. If damage like that, though, I'd say it's not a good 20,000 off the value of the property. Ah! Back for more, you heathen! Correct. I've seen worse than this. Things you wouldn't believe. Ah! ah. But there were four of them, bitches! Four of them! <laughs> I need an ambulance! Oh, Mr. Shark! <laughs> you. All of you. I like you. Man down. What you have here, McGill, is a robbery gone bad. Flushed with success, the gang turn on each other like hungry dogs. Greed and vaulting ambition was their downfall. What's that? Hamlet? No. I made it up myself. I find that crime sometimes stimulates my creative juices. Mm. You should write it down. Yes. What was it again? Scanner, monitors, defibrillator, ECG. What else you got in there? I don't know, mate. Something called an MRI scanner. All sorts of stuff. Where'd it all come from? I don't know, mate. All I know is it's all paid for. All you got to do is sign here. It's all yours. You all right? I'm OK. I wasn't sure about giving all the money to the hospital, but... I think you're taking it really well. I am, aren't I? Mm -hmm. Look kind of liberated, actually. Make a million, give it all away. What the hell? It's the right thing to do. You're right. I wouldn't be able to live with myself if we'd saved any of it. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. If you can't live with yourself, I'll completely understand. To me. I did. It's okay. Because look, I saved just a little bit too. Just for food and gas, you know, incidentals. Don't explain.
is this? A scanner? Really? Well, yeah, I mean, you never know. You are so needy, Carol. You're suffocating me. I, 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 I can't breathe. I, I need more space. No, I, I don't know, I feel trapped. Look, if you keep a songbird in a cage, eventually you'll die. Now 